All right, hey, how you doing? This is Mr. Myosis, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about sampling distributions for sample proportions. And in the last two videos, I did basically an, just a concept building of what a sample a sampling distribution was. Um, I had a sample proportions in the first video, and in the second video, I talked about sample means, a sampling distribution for means. Uh, but I really didn't talk about you know what the problems will look like and what they might look like on the AP exam or in your textbook or in your stats class if you're if you're watching this for your stats class in college so uh, I'd like to do a couple examples this one is going to be just on sample proportions and I'll have another video on a couple of problems for sample means so let's take a look at this problem here and it says according to a glamour magazine I actually looked this up just right now online 54% of American women ages 18 to 40 said that they're unhappy with their body. Um, so let's suppose we're taking a sample of 45 women around series. Now, if you don't know where that is, it's a small town in California. So if, we're, if you're watching this from somewhere else, um, that's where I'm located. Uh, don't, don't stalk me, please. Um, what is the probability that no more than 20 women say that they are unhappy with their bodies? So notice here that we've taken a sample and this normal model is not, it's, it's not the population. This is a sampling distribution. We're sampling 45 women. So when we're doing that, we need to build our sampling distribution. Now we gotta check our conditions to make sure our normal model works. So what's our first condition? Our first condition is that the sample was taken at random. So it doesn't really say that, but we're gonna assume. So let's go and we wanna mark that in there that um, we're gonna take a random sample. I should have written that in the problem, right? So uh, 45 women are selected randomly. And it'd probably be a lot faster if I typed this instead of wrote it. Nicer too. What's the second condition? Well, the second condition is that that's less than 10%. And you can see here, 45 women, right? Our sample is 45. 45 women, what is that thing? 45 women, I don't need to capitalize women, is less than 10% of all women, you know, in the U.S. How do I know that, that the U.S. is my population and not series? Because um, this poll here has, it's American women, American women. So those are all women in the U.S., so that's my population. All right, well, number three, what's our third condition? Our third condition is NP and NQ, our number of successes and our number of failures. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. N is going to be 45. So I'm going to write that here. So NP is 45 times 0.54. So I'm going to write that here too. P equals 0.54. Five, four. Okay, and that is, I should have done this on the side here, um, 24.3. And Q is going to be 45 times 0.46, which is 20.7. All right, so both of these are greater than or equal to 10. So they both check out. So we can, in fact, use the normal model. So uh, let's go ahead and build this normal model. And our mean is going to be our P, so 0.54. And what's our standard deviation going to be? Well, we're going to use that formula that was given on, well, my video or the AP exam handout. So the standard deviation of P hat is the square root of PQ over N. So let's go ahead and calculate that out. I don't know why I'm writing slanted here. 0.54 times 0.46 over 45. Okay, and I should have written this out. I'll do it in the calculator real quick. Okay, so I get 0 0.07 when I calculate that. So I'm gonna add 0 0.07 here, here, subtract here and here, and I'm gonna get my normal model. So what is the probability that no more than 20 women say they are unhappy with their bodies? No more than 20 women. So this is a number here. It's not a percentage. And our normal model here is based on percentages. So let's go ahead and change this to a percent. So we're going to go, uh, in this case, our p hat right here. Our p 
p-hat is going to be 20 out of 45. All right, so 20 out of 45 is 0.44. Okay, so 0.44. This is 0.47. So 0.44 is about right here. No more than 20. No more than 20 means I don't want anything above here. I want everything below here. So this is my area that I'm looking for. I'm looking for this right here. And in our uh, in the previous unit when we were talking about normal model, we're saying that the probability that our value here, x, is less than or equal to 0.4. Four, four. All right, that's the probability, and we're going to end up looking for that. So we're going to use our normal CDF. So we're going to go to our calculator, have it here somewhere, and we're going to write menu, probability, distributions, normal CDF. We're going to go from negative 0.9999, I'm sorry, negative 9999, it's a really small number. That will be our lower bound. Our upper bound will be 0.44. What is our standard devi what is our mean? Our mean is 0.54 and our standard deviation is 0.07. Hit enter and we get 0 .077. 0 .077. So, turns out the answer to this problem is 0 0.077. So in context, 7.7% is the probability that no more than 20 women are going to say they're unhappy with their bodies in a sample of 45. All right, so that's a problem that we might see on an AP exam or on, on some sort of, of stats um, you know, worksheet or whatever. So let's look at number two, and then uh, we'll wrap this up. So if 32 women were unhappy with their body, would we be surprised? Well, how do we know if something is surprising? Um, makes you go, wow, right? Well, anything that's surprising is bigger or smaller than two standard deviations away from the mean. So we can figure out a z-score. So how do we figure out the z-score? Well, these are in percentages. So we've got to convert this to a percent first. 32 out of 45. So we're going to do 32 out of 45. And we're going to get 71.1%, so 0 0.711. And we're going to figure out the z-score. And remember that z is x minus x, oops, that's wrong, oops, that's wrong. It is, um, z is going to be x minus mu over sigma. Um, in our case, it's going to be what we call, what we say, we say p hat minus p, because p hat is going to be x, right? This is what we're looking at, 32. P is our population mean, which is the mean. And sigma is, what do we get? Square root of PQ over N. So it's really sigma of P hat. Okay. Square root of PQ over N. So we're going to go calculate that out. We're going to have 0 0.711, that's what we're trying to figure out, minus 0 0.54, that's from our population divided by, we figured this out already over here, 0 0.07. And what do we get when we do all that math? Two point four four. So if our z-score is 2.44, what does that tell us? That tells us to it 32 women would be 2.44 standard deviations above what we would really expect the mean to be. So that is, in fact, surprising. Too high of a standard deviation. All right, so that's it for sample proportions. In the next video, I'll take a look at the sampling distribution of sample means. See you later.